Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamazi here, and today I've got to run through an 18 Halls of Atonement playing sort of a spicy build of destruction. One that we haven't really played at all over the course of Shadowlands, and a similar build was played in BFA, but albeit Supremacy is gone, and we have Reign of Chaos now. Getting into the actual build. So for this build, we ended up playing Wilfred Sigil as our legendary. We ended up playing Vol's Hymnal, and we played Awakener's Frond. Now, uh, spoilers ahead, this is not in this run, but we did indeed finally get a Soul Letting Ruby this week from Theater of Pain. I got it towards the very end of stream. Uh, it was not gonna be in this run here. This is obviously a Hall of Atonement run, but nonetheless, we did get our Ruby. For this run though, Reign of Chaos, Dark Soul. We played Entropy. Flash over versus Entropy, Cataclysm, Reign of Chaos, and Dark Soul. Now, when it comes to Destro builds in Mythic Plus, typically you see people playing this build with Channel and Demon Fire and some mix of like Roaring Blaze or Reign of Chaos. If you're playing Roaring, normally you're playing Cinder, it's Legendary. If you're playing Reign of Chaos, you typically see a, a decent bit of use out of like Wilfred Sigil. But I wanted to play this build with the ideology of just having Dark Soul for every Infernal. Cuz played this build in Castle Nathria this week, I believe, in, the, in uh, Mythic Reclear, and put up a lot of rank one parses, playing Wilfred's on every single boss with Dark Soul, with Reign of Chaos on every single boss, and put up some pretty impressive numbers in a field of Roaring Blaze, uh, Dark Soul, Cinders parses, which is actually pretty awesome to see. And I will admit the build does feel really good. It feels a lot like it did in uh, towards in the BFA when you have your two minute Infernal when you have your Dark Soul, your big damage window and you go, you push. Now you don't have Grimoire of Supremacy anymore, which honestly is sort of okay, but a lot of your damage still is built into your Infernal playing Reign of Chaos and having Dark Soul and Wilfred itself. Plus we have higher haste now. I played with 26% haste in this run, actually a little more. We played with this belt here. So we had 28.8 basically, which is pretty high, but Destro, haste. And we actually ran a couple Sims and things. Haste is what I wanted. We had a pretty high amount of haste here, plus flash over and extra, you know, Haste production, proxies, and that, whatever have you. We did indeed play Wakener's Frond here, which syncs with every single Dark Soul being a two minute cooldown. I would recommend a Ruby. I just didn't have one for this run, but we do indeed have one now. Conduit wise, we ended up playing Ashen Remains and Infernal Brand. Now, if I'm raiding, I'm going to play Ashen Remains. Ashen Remains is the, I feel, the Focus Malignancy, the Born of Blood. It's your general conduit you play for Destro. It doesn't really change a whole lot. If I'm raiding, I'm probably going to end up going with Nia's Tools Burrs over Infernal Brand. Not raiding though, I'm doing keys. So we are playing Reign of Chaos, I said let's level down on Infernal Brand. The other option is Combusting Engine, Duplicitous Havoc. I think, I personally feel Combusting Engine is a miserable conduit. I pray to God it's removed next patch. It probably won't be. It'll probably be Abyss for some weird reason and not to play it, but I don't think you get as much value out of Duplicitous Havoc as you would assume you do in plus because a lot of times you're using your havoc to actually build for rain of fire in a random chaos window so the actual havoc transfer damage is not as relevant as it seems it does get you more damage but when you're throwing just incinerates and conflagrates into it and using your shards on random fires without roaring blaze being a thing it's just not really as strong as it seems random chaos infernal brand the damage was actually pretty strong it's a bit of a single target increase, I suppose, playing Reign of Chaos, even though there's a crazy amount of RNG tied into it. It's still there. It's still something. And I don't like the inconsistencies of Burrs really in general, and especially in Mythic Plus. Any questions you guys have, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Any weak auras, profiles, or add-ons you see here, you can grab for free off my Twitch. If you want to swing by, hang out, ask any questions, anytime. Quick heads up here and quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you all for the support. I will indeed be creating a 9.1 Warlock overall feedback, or sorry, like spreadsheet, similar to the 9.01 that I made when 9.1 PTR drops, which is in roughly a week or so. If you'd like early access to that, the tier three Felguard rank or higher of my Patreon does indeed get that. Thanks again dudes for watching. I'll catch you all again soon. Peace. It's gonna disintegrate, man. It's going to disintegrate. My meter is broken. It wouldn't keep up.
Damage meter, hello? Damage meter, hello? <laughs> so busted. 822k. Uh, damage meter, what happened? Um, hello, are we okay? Uh, <laughs> damage meter, all right, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. <laughs> It's having trouble. All right, we're good. We're sort of caught up. We're sort of caught up. All right, good. We're okay. We made it work. What's her? I feel like there's a little bit of lag though at the same time. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit. I have no idea who got the best infernal RNG there, but somebody, like, I, I, like, that was pretty insane. That was, that was, that was big damn, man. That was good. No, oh, my rain of fire, dude. My rain of fire, no, dude. I can't do anything, man. Ah, the sanguine, saddest day ever, man. So we'll have in, we'll have infernal for next pack. We, I mean, we'll, we're a little off soul route. We got to go though. And we, I, I think, like, we, there's no way we hold here. You tank in the same way, that's perfect. Perfect, dude. All right, here, let's do this here. Let's go. Actually, a little bit off of Dark Soul, too. Probably should have held Infernal, but I'm trying to squeeze one extra in between this and the Prideful. I think it's probably worth. No, dude, Jace is down, man. I think it's probably worth. I'm just not 100% though. Just firing explosions ever. Oh, so Tox, man, thank you for the raid. What's up, dude? Hey, grats again on the kill, man. Grats again on the Mythic Denathrius kill. Easiest one ever, dude. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Hopefully your stream went well. This is the entertainment I came for. Yeah. Wait, like, as, as in came to the stream or wait? <clears throat> Never mind. Uh, 500k DPS. Dude, I, what was that damage meter, dude? It has to have, like, bugged out when the Infernals landed. I, I, it has to have. I don't know. Super weird. I'm all in to let me down. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I'm going to be off Infernal a little bit here, though. That's the problem. Unless we change to the next pole, we're going to be a little bit off. And we're going, yeah, we're going into all this. There's no way we don't like. No, dude. The fact that no one else is bursting high enough is actually like these. Come on, the quaking men. It's actually not bad. Like, no one has insane damage here. We didn't pull the side pack. It's a chance. I feel rusty playing Destro too. All right, so we're waiting. I feel like we just hold for next pack. Like, am I crazy here? I, I feel like we, we should hold. Like, it's super awkward, but I think we need to. We didn't pull side pack here. I think we have to hold. Uh, Ashton, man, thank you for converting. Get tier one sub, dude. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, big dog. <sighs> now we pull it. No, dude. Okay, I'm going in. You're reading. You're reading. Now I'm going in. Thank you for that conversion, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, buddy. Welcome, big dog. Thank you for support. Just welcome back, technically, but you know. Thank you, my dude. <laughs> All right, boys, we're at the top of the meters. We're okay. We might have Inferno. We're at the top, though. If sustain, sustain our lead here. Hold it. That was basically full Inferno value. Welcome back, Ashton. I'm sorry. Thank you for converting from a primary tier one, dude. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. I'm sorry. You know what? I, I When I said welcome, it was actually like, it's a welcome back. But thank you, dude. Welcome back, man. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Pulling four here. Uh, okay, we are. 
All right, cool. Sounds good. This is sketchy. How did that? Mi how did one like not get hit with my kata? It depends <clears throat> where I'm using Havoc. Like if I have my Infernal down and insane amount of shards rolling in, it, it just sort of depends. It just sort of depends. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold the Havoc for next pack here, honestly. I wanna see the Immolation Aura damage in this run, man. It's gotta be, it's gonna be insane, dude. <laughs> uh, a scumbag Jonas, taking the tier one sub, dude. Welcome to the channel, man. Thank you, buddy. All right, we got CDs here in 10 seconds and we're going down. Apparently. Are we? Wait. Okay, we are. Are we? What are we doing? Yeah, I think they're coming up. Let's go. I should make sure I soul rotted before this, but. That was a sad double havoc or single havoc. I wish it was a larger pack for this, honestly, but at least like our, our infernals are desynced, which is legit. Either somebody held or they just desynced like on purpose. I think it might've been because I infernal this thing early on the first one we got, which is fine. I want to keep them like desynced if possible. <clears throat> Memeing, I don't care. Yeah, but I care, man. Okay, but I care. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. And welcome back, dude. I care. That's the important part. <laughs> the sound of Havoc Chaos Bolt up there with Tyrant Spawn. It's so good, man. I feel like they changed the Tyrant Spawn sound as well. I haven't heard it like that in a long time. Like they used to come out like screaming, but now they don't anymore. It's sort of weird. I also want a Soul Rot here, but it's just like no value. See, the awkward part is once again, we don't have Infernal here, but we're not pulling the side pack with it either. I think it's okay. Dude, come on. The worst quaking ever. We're standing in, boys. We're walling and standing. We're hard committing here. I'm committed to this triple dish relock relationship. <clears throat> Relock not failing until now. <laughs> I mean, I was about to fail there, not looking at the mechanic. Hey, hey, the damage ain't bad, man. It's not bad. Put in some good damn. All right, now we go. Ah, oh, man. That was a very sad cataclysm because they all got pulled out of it before the thing spawned. That was the world's saddest. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, this is rock time. I already went to my Havoc window, though. I didn't know we were pulling all this stuff. No, this this is sad, man. I didn't know we were pulling all this stuff. I have to wait. I can just rain. Can I get an Infernal proc? Anything? Ian, my man, dude. I'm gonna hold this havoc. I had no idea we weren't pulling that pack. We were pulling that pack. Like, oh, no fair pattern. What do you mean? It's not padding at all. I had no idea. Don't get mad at me, our Infernal who desync that I'm the true alpha in the group. Don't get mad at me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Honestly, we're not even that far off in damage overall. This is triple Destro. I mean, it is. It is. That it is. That it is. That it is. I'm gonna soul rot here. I don't know if it's totally a good idea, but we're 40 seconds off of our Dark Soul and a minute off of Infernal. I think it's fine. 
Dude, Destro Strong's rising, boys. Last week was Demo, now it's Destro. We got a hype Warlock going in the 9.1. We can't hype it up too much where they nerf us. That's that. That's the important part. Not playing Rain Talent. Nah, we're not. We're playing. Uh, we're playing Rain of Chaos, but we're not playing uh, Inferno. Nah, we are not. I wanted to see how this build felt with uh, just two minute stuff. Honestly, it feels fine for what's worth. Somebody Inferno this? No. I was debating Infernaling, but I think I'm gonna hold because we don't have Soul Rot here. Like we're desynced, but we don't have Soul Rot, so I'm gonna wait. I just think it's gonna be this pack by itself and it's gonna melt with everyone's Inferno coming down. Kata, hello. slow here on this I knew it dude I knew it I knew I couldn't squeeze it in wasn't watching my weak aura man it's okay we're gonna die we're dead we're dead okay I we committed for the health box I didn't want to finish stopping the chaos bolt cast we committed perfect dude perfect perfect I committed the health pot to it we're good we're good <clears throat> Personally, prefer aft, not as good as you want three specs. Ah, it's fine. Aft puts good damage out. Like this is a bit excessive. It's it's a hauls run. Um, we're playing like a pretty, a, a relatively heavy like AOE build of Destro. Um, aft is good damage though. Okay, aft solid. Aft is my favorite spec to play in keys, most of the time. It's nice taking a break and branching out to like Demo or Destro, but aft is universe like normally my best or favorite spec to play in keys. It's not very close. It would have been nice to have Inferno for this too, though. We can commit this Havoc, I think, after this Kata. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna stop with the range, though. Dude, my kingdom for like 0.1 extra shards right there. All right, we still got the double Chaos Bolt off. We're good. Spicy, I like it. Can't wait for three Destro locks trying to Chaos Bolt during this spot, this spinning thing on first boss. <laughs> It's gonna be so good. A complete lack of DPS. It's gonna be perfect, man. It's gonna be perfect. That's what we're planning, dude. That's what we're planning. I respect it. See the shaman, the shaman. I respect it. I like it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Oh no. Oh, I have to die after this. I can be a little late in my frond because of the reduced duration and try and squeeze in an inferno beforehand. We didn't get one though. I have to die after this. We're invising. I don't. I won't have a pot. No, no, not getting silence. Oh, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cast the bolt. Got him. GG. Are you getting baited? Not getting baited. All right. Good. Good. Who said this is gonna be tough? This is easy. This boss is a joke, man. It's perfect. No problems here at all. Easy chaos bolts, man. Well, someone's playing CDF, actually. I don't know who. Someone's playing CDF over DSI. I can respect it. Might as well soul rot here. Oh no. Okay, dude. Uh, <laughs> might as well soul rot. All right. 
This is a fun poll, actually. I feel so quiet without music on, too. Blood decay damage. Hello? Blood decay damage? My man just cranking, dude. I, I'm super tempted Inferno right now. We should, uh, I guess we have this next pack coming up and then we want to invis. I think it's probably fine holding here, actually. Just gonna build some shards for it. Try to. Super tempted there, though. The MDI triple meta triple Destro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Total chaos is perfect. Trying to die anything with it. Fire Mage. Just aff and keys is sad. It can be, especially in lower keys. We're missing right here. I need a res, so. I'll stone myself. I need a res. Oh. I hate missing this. Okay, I just think it's, I don't know. I hate not knowing exactly when I, when I can and can't pot. It's super frustrating. <clears throat> Better make it up there, big dog. Uh, total chaos. Exactly. 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 Sorry, boys. It pots on CD. I ain't potted the boss. <clears throat> That's why I hate invis potting here. But I mean, I guess it is what it is. The NG belt. I guess I could actually. I am an engineer. I guess that does work technically. Yeah, I could do that. I guess I could. It's a quaking week aura. Um, it's one that I got off of Wago. My old one broke. That's actually one I forgot to up upload. Um, I believe you can check my Wago and see if I did, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, either way. Uh, I'll upload it tonight after stream if you want. <clears throat> no, she definitely had the engineering belt, honestly. That's just when I think about it. I'm only recently an engineer because of the nether portal thing. Or the, the wormhole, whatever it is for Shadowlands. <clears throat> Found it randomly. Okay, yeah, cool. Link it for sure. I appreciate it. Tarkov went to crap full time. Wow, now. Yeah, I was playing Tarkov this morning, actually, a little bit, Ashton. A little bit. Um, we should have probably inferned that, but it's super awkward and missing. I was playing Tarkov this morning. I, uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I've been looking for a game to play in my, my free time outside of WoW a bit. I don't know if Tarkov is that game, but, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's been rough lately. <laughs> it's been rough, dude. It was fun, uh, dude, to, be, to be fair, but I think a lot of it's just like I haven't played in a while. Customs, Customs was dead. Uh, had like 10 scav kills both run not didn't see a single pmc anywhere yeah i, I didn't know what to really make of it so well, i'm not streaming tarkov oh, i stream wow i don't stream tarkov i stream wow that's it i'm not good enough at tarkov either i i don't really even enjoy the game enough to do that so <laughs> you don't gotta worry <laughs> you don't gotta worry about that all right it's infernal now unfortunately we're a little bit off of uh we're a little bit off of our uh, soul rot. I can't wait much about it. My rain window's closed, but thankfully we're still cranking. It was actually pretty decent timing on the rain and like the rain cast there and stuff. We didn't get any havoc value. Just didn't really have time. I think it's died too fast. Ads coming again now. All right. Uh, oh, we have 20. Okay. Oh, they're here. Yeah. The timer's just weird. Okay. Tiny bit of value. Tiny bit. Dude, we're close in the meters, man. We're close. Who can land the final bolt, dude? The bolt in the con flag? Can I get the bolt off? No, <laughs> no, dude. It's okay. It's okay. My emulate will carry us home. Carry us home, emulate. Let's do it. All right. We got a minute on Inferno now. <clears throat> you got TPC to play for your other game. Yeah, but TPC, like, I was talking to Chan about this last night. Um, Chen Mo was streaming late and we we're talking about it. Like, 
TBC right now, it, it, listen. Hold on. If people want to stream TBC now, go for it. The, the thing is, like, I, I had a lot of fun, like, streaming the leveling and stuff early on, but there's not much to do, man. Like, every stream is, like, insane XP solo, soloing dungeons. Like, I, I'm more excited about release than I am, like, streaming, what, like, the leveling now. Release to, like, max level content on beta is what I'm really pumped for. Uh, I'm gonna infer all this. Um, release and maximum content. That's what I really want. I, I, I would assume we get that so, like you know, probably within a week, a week and a half or so. But I don't know, committing like 60 hours or whatever it's leveling from 60 to 70 or 68 right now is like eh to me. You know, when we have things on live and we have PTR hitting soon, like we to amp up a lot on live also. So I'm excited for it though. We're definitely gonna play it. It's just right now it's a little uh, a little tough based off what I want to do and things. We've got a pretty big, uh, we're going to be pretty busy, let's put it this way, over the next three or so weeks on stream. With PTR starting this Sunday, if you boys went here earlier, this Sunday, uh, if you guys can make it, we're starting a little earlier in time stream. It's going to be a spicy stream. Uh, I got something planned this Sunday. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good, but we're going to be pretty busy. So i'm not really sure how excited i am about raid testing tbc stuff either i i'm, I'm pretty sure i won't even bother but i i i'm not 100 percent so <clears throat> why do you havoc during a fire uh well i'm if you're seeing havoc up during rain it's typically to build shards from the rain of fire or for the rain of fire like to feed the rain that's most likely recent like now like i'll havoc now go into a conflict a conflict rate a couple incinerates or whatever and just rain again here that's normal probably what you're seeing, I would assume. That's normally the case. I haven't really scuffed like any havoc windows in this run, I don't believe. So Maybe the one on I get on on pull, second pull of the dungeon, but that was just a little, a little rusty, I don't know. Giveaways. Uh I don't know the current state of TBC beta key giveaways. I don't know. No, Sunday is not beta key giveaways or anything. I don't know the state of them. What what's their plans on doing with them at this point? So, you do any coaching services? Uh, I do at times when I have openings and stuff. Um, if you're interested, you can DM me in Discord, NH. Uh, but I, I don't have like a set like application or anything out there. At times, yeah. <clears throat> you're working on the car watching this clown on Sunday? Legit. Hey, I appreciate it, buddy. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Made me laugh, made me laugh too. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I better not see a single havoc on that ghost. Who's havocing the ghost? I don't. I don't care if it's for shard gen. You guys are cheating. I don't like it. Maybe laugh a little bit too. I cr I cried on the outside, laugh on the inside. Yeah. We're not gonna have an inferno for next room, which is actually sort of, sort of crappy. I don't think any of us will though. Maybe arbitrate will. We'll have it at some point. It's not on pole when we first walk in. Depending on how long this boss takes here though. Play WoW and watch stream, I guess. Well, I appreciate it. I'm sorry to hear about the lockdown stuff, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the support and everything. Mm, might as well sort right here, I guess. Sort of awkward, but it's something. Some value at the end. I feel like so many of our off infernal soul rots have lined up at weird times, but yeah, it's something. Some value. Let's go. This is where we need Infernal, like right here. Unfortunately, we're a little off of it too.
We're getting there. There it is. Here's the infernal. Mm, it's actually a really bad sword rot from the low health target. play this better having a sort of scramble for the setup in the middle of like a, uh, a channel like a dark communion going out was rough we could have played this better for sure <clears throat> still still number one but besides that <laughs> dk top dps he, 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 dk's about some serious damage here man <laughs> certain points in the keys crank dude <clears throat> just havoc I guess won't count as four shards spent uh will for just two uh just two same thing doesn't copy any kind of uh like uh checking abilities or however you want to word it nah just two just two but you can use it like in a random chaos window with multiple infernals rolling for more shard gen for um extra shards built some more random fire cast and just sort of you know goes from there right The last bolt. The last bolt, dude. I could have actually cat out of this thing. I think Soul Rotting here is a little greedy, but I think it'll be fine. we we'll probably hold the boss like 20 seconds left in the cooldown. Still get less value and stuff with Infernal. Ooh, that quaking dude that quaking dude Dude, I can't get like any like random chaos procs. I think we got like one there, maybe. I really couldn't tell. I don't think it was very many. <laughs> like, I don't think we got many there, dude. This last soul rod in. Dude, the final soul rot, man. See, that's what you get, boy. Squeeze it down the prideful. One extra soul rot. Easy life. Easy life. I want to see the emulation aura value in here. The damage breakdown. I want to see it. Look at that dodge. That's what a true elite warlock right there, dude. That, that was a world first place right there. Easy. A tier 19? I mean, dude, okay, yeah. <laughs> Easiest key of my life. Arbitrate says, I want to say I don't have him though. I I want to say it don't matter, big dog. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. That was good. That was fun. Um nice pet? Wait, what wait, what do you mean? What's my pet? You mean arbitrate? Are you referring to arbitrate? Or no? <laughs> Damage breakdown. Uh dude, look at the emulation where I value, man. Look at it, 20%, let's see, 20% uh, compared to, I guess, 2 million compared to 1.3. Uh, was Chase playing, I think he was, was he playing Roaring Blaze? Oh, he was, he was Roaring Blaze single target. 
he was roaring blade so he was roaring blade cdf i didn't realize that so you can see a big difference there i don't know what conduit arbitrates playing but i assume it's not infernal brand um is he have burst damage he has burst damage he's playing ashen and burrs we were playing infernal and ashen infernal brand and ashen um spicy man what's the rate of fire damage actually like i'm curious uh, got a lot more rain fire damage uh, to be fair though i guess i, I guess it sort of makes sense at the same time triple lock missed are we doing it I, i'm down if, i'm down honestly 